Hey guys, this is Antonio Exposito again here with Classic Albums Live. Today we are at the King Center in Melbourne, Florida, here in the beautiful Space Coast. And we're doing Billy Joel The Stranger, the album in its entirety. You know, note for note, cut for cut, as always. And uh, we're gonna do a little rig rundown uh, since some of you have been asking to do another one. So um, here it is. Uh, this one's more streamlined in the sense that we, uh, since we're playing Billy Joel music, we have this beautiful nine foot Steinway Model D piano. Um, it's, it belongs to the theater. Uh, I played it before, so I was somewhat familiar with it and it's just simply gorgeous and gorgeous sounding. Um, it's a kind of a change for me because I'm a, I'm a Yamaha guy, uh, but this is what the theater provides and it's just up. Hey, it's in the And uh, here's our singer, uh, <laughs> Kevin Bath, uh, right uh, straight from Canada. Uh, you know, he is Billy, I'm Joel, and uh, together. Short for Joel. <laughs> so, um, Back to the Steinway, I mean, it's it's such an elegant instrument when, when it allows you to actually play soft and it, it, it almost plays itself, like my friend Harold said, uh, because it feels so nice, you know, you can play stuff like that. Uh... Very intimate. But if you need to rock it out for the other pieces of the album, like uh, the, the end part of uh, moving out, yeah. You know, stuff like that, definitely, you know, uh, New York State of Mind. But again, you can go soft again, uh, things like uh, honesty. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's just I love it. I really don't wanna. <laughs> I really don't wanna leave it. You know, I always when I sit down to this piano, I just can't stop playing. So, anyways, moving along. Um, hey Shane. I don't, nobody said along. you could talk to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> our guitar player Shane, one of our guitar players. <laughs> okay. Yes. And um, so, this is my trusty. Um, Wingman Harold, as always, hey, on the keyboards. Woo. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me again. Hey. <laughs> you do a great job, so. He's doing the bells and whistles and the strings, covering the synth strings, uh, samples. Oh, I think you have a, a trigger sample of the... Oh, yeah. For example, in the beginning, at the end of moving out, I actually oh, close yeah. out with the actual, you know, car that you can hear yeah. on the record. It goes like, something like this. I'm gonna, not going to Yeah, no, no, out. please. <laughs> needs to happen, I mean. Yeah. It's running and screaming. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was actually a Corvette that belonged yeah. to the bass player, who, uh, which was recorded in the original recording. They, they, rec they mic the exhaust on it, and they actually, I did not know that. I had to do the research, so I actually got a sample of a Corvette. And I gave it to Harold, and you know, and forward it to me. <laughs> and then you have my job for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is also the secondary rig that I had to move into uh, because there are some songs that Billy plays actually some electric piano, like uh, "Just the Way You Are." secondary rig but most of the show I spend at the Steinway uh, because Billy Joel show obviously you know it's it's uh, it's centered around the piano his music so 
So basically, yeah, I mean, uh, Harold is using a three keyboard rig as, as usual. He got his trusty Triton. We actually brought the XP60 out. Out of mothballs for this one. Out of mothballs. <laughs> uh, he, he usually has an XP80, which is basically the same, just one more octave. And we couldn't do a show without at least one motif. I mean, these keyboards are so reliable. Um, I mean, I, I can't even praise them enough. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I mean, can I say something? I know that you've been a Yamaha sponsored artist for a while, but for me, 2010. I've been all my life. I've been a Roland and Cord guy. So okay. I, I hope I don't just, get in trouble. I'm just kidding. I've just recently <laughs> discovered the Yamaha, and um, let me tell you something. This thing has become the center of my life right now. So you see, you're not gonna get in trouble. No, hey. You see, you're not gonna. Get it's in just the versatility of it, and you can just program basically any sound. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you don't have already like a like a factory patch that gets close, mm -hmm. you can just program and make it and like a spare of the moment. I think make it's so user friendly and, and and so so versatile that really I I got like three motifs, man. I'm not getting rid of them. Like, <laughs> and I still want to hack one of them, but I'm not giving that with this one. This no, one. No. This is a special. Actually, one. you can't even get these used anymore. They they're, they're so in demand, the 76 key ones. So So, uh yeah, it's one of our big shows. Um we have a full band, string section. Brass section, minor percussion, two guitar players, two keyboard players. So it's 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 really we we brought out the the high caliber for this one. Um, we are uh, we're doing a, a four show run this week, and uh, hopefully we'll do more all across Florida. So please make sure you uh, go to classicalbumslives.com and get your tickets if you're in town. And hopefully we'll be coming to a city near you so you can enjoy. Billy Joel's The Stranger. It's one of my favorites, actually. It's a great. It's been a great show. It's been, it's been so much fun working with world-class musicians as always. So, basically, this is our rigs. This is our show. So we're getting ready for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I'll try and keep the videos coming. So you keep watching. I'll keep them. Keep making them. Awesome. Take care. I'll see you at the show. <laughs>